They're like my new backpacking tent. What's up guys, Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. This thing is awesome. This is the Peregrine Radama six person tent. This thing is huge. Not a backpacking tent, even though I joked about it, but you've got a massive tent that is perfect for family car camping. And that's what we're gonna talk about today because this thing kills the competition with the features that are included with it. What I'm gonna compare this to is the Kelty Trail Ridge 6 as far as what type of quality of tent you're getting here. I'm gonna put it on the same uh, lines as Kelty as far as quality and price. In fact, the Radama 6 is the same price without the footprint as the Kelty. The Kelty does include the footprint, but you can also buy the footprint with this. But the features of this, I feel like, outweigh what you get with the Trail Ridge 6. Mostly in the sense that you have a massive, massive gear vestibule. And we're gonna get into that here in a minute, but obviously you can see that this thing is really tall. And essentially you've got 83 square feet of living space inside, which we're gonna look at here in a minute as well. You've got about just over 70 square feet of total vestibule space between the two. But this thing is over 40 square feet of gear storage and vestibule alone. And we'll close the door, go inside, and give you all of the rundown on that. But obviously this thing is built really well to handle pretty severe storms, uh, kind of difficult weather. You've got a full to the ground, three season style rain fly. So this thing will be great for colder weather camping, spring through fall. You've got plenty of room for six people in here. And for my family who loves to be out car camping as much as we can, this is a really great option for us because we've got three of us plus a dog and putting all of us in this tent gives us a lot of living space, a lot of area to roam around and you, not, you don't have to feel cramped. And that's a big deal when you've got a baby, especially out car camping. So let's go ahead and talk about the construction and the build of the tent and then we'll go inside and look at the features. So you've got a full polyester uh, material rain fly here as well as the floor of the tent and the sides of the tent. Plenty of ventilation throughout the tent with a lot of mesh on the inside. And you've got the guy out points along the sides, plenty of guy lines that will hold this thing down and keep it nice and tight in the wind and weather. I love the peak height on it because it gives you plenty of standing room and you can stand up inside of it. We have the Trail Ridge 4 from Kelty, so a little bit smaller than this, and you can't quite stand up in that and to be able to have a tent that you can stand up in is really, really nice. You've got reflective guy lines, and I like how they've set up the guy lines here. So you've got a tie out here and a tie out here, and it allows you to just take a V down into one stake. Makes it really, really tight. It's a big tent, so in the wind, this thing is gonna blow back and forth, but overall, that's really, really cool. I like the window that they have put across the top of the vestibule here. And then you have these kind of silent uh, zipper poles, which is cool. The nylon straps that hold down uh, or are the stakeout points are really high quality. You do have dual zipper points. So you have the option to vent through if you would like, but still have some privacy as well as the door will roll back all the way. One of the great features of a tent of this size that you don't typically find when you get into really large tents is these are DAC press fit poles. The nice thing about that is they are full aluminum poles, really strong, and DAC is a very, or DAC is a very reputable brand that a lot of tent makers, a lot of brands are using. They've also got down at the bottom, which I'll show you here in a minute, the Jake style DAC feet that have kind of a ball joint system and the way that the rain fly and such clips into it, really well done. I have very little things to complain about this tent. 
Probably the first thing that I would complain about it is because it's so big and the rain fly is so big, you don't get a lot of ventilation. Even though you do have these roof vents, which help, you don't get a cross breeze through it that you would typically see in a larger tent, but they're usually cheaper. Cheaper quality, cheaper made, and less reliable. You're looking at a $400 tent here, which for what you're paying for, I think it's a great, great quality, great option, something worth spending the money on. So obviously you can see that this thing is very, very big, but really, really well made. Lots of guy out points. You don't have enough stakes to guy out all of the guy lines, so you may need to, to add some more. But here's the back side that shows the other vestibule. This gives you an idea of the additional space. It comes up at an angle so you don't have as much opportunity for like headspace when you come out of the tent, but you do have plenty of uh, gear storage for shoes and maybe packs or uh, things like that. But it's nice to have a rain fly that goes all the way to the ground, keeps things very, very watertight, and is also gonna keep you a little warmer at night because you don't have as much air coming up through uh, or through the tent to, to make it cold. So now looking inside of the tent, I've already got things zipped up and or opened up so that we can just walk straight in, but you can see how big the vestibule is. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna close it. I'm gonna give you an even better idea of how much space we have. We'll go into the tent and we'll stand back. There is your total vestibule space for that one gear closet. Obviously, really cool. You could even get a couple chairs in there. That would allow you to have even more space, which is really nice. And I can stand up here in the vestibule. That's awesome, that makes me really happy. You've got two doors, D-style doors. They are very wide, very easy to, to open roll back, give you a lot of access to get air mattresses and things in here. At the top of the tent, you've got two style pockets, like, and then you've got this hook to hang a lantern or something on. And then you've got pockets in each corner of the tent. So to give you an idea of how much space is actually in this tent, which may be hard to see on the camera. We set this up and we put a queen size air mattress in here, as well as a child's pack and play kind of uh, collapsible crib, which if you're a parent, you should know what a pack and play is. That thing plus the air mattress left enough walking room for us to be in the tent and have bags and things on the sides tons of space. If you have a couple kids with some small sleeping bags, you've got plenty of space as well. This is a really, really great tent for families that want to have a nice, reliable, high quality tent at a really good price that's going to last a long time. Looking back again, this is the back door. So you have less vestibule space, but plenty if you're going to put shoes and things and stuff out there. So let's come out and look at the Jake style foot of the tent. You can see you've got a little ball joint and then what's cool is the rain fly has this little clip on it. It allows you to just pull up on that, cinch it down, really, really nice. So there you go, guys. That is the Radama 6 tent from Peregrine Equipment. Fantastic, absolutely love it. 
know that I'm going to have a lot of really good nights of sleep in this thing with my family. And I definitely recommend checking this out as something to add to your car camping setup if you need a tent this size that is a six person tent. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Please get out into the mountains, enjoy time out as a family, and have a great day.